Welcome back to Breaking Things with Luke Eisman. And today what I did was found, one, a solution for never having enough outlets, and two, a uh, use for this toolbox that was really too small to hold enough of any category, really, of tool on a permanent basis. So, I don't, I don't know what to call this, but what I did was I spliced the cord from a broken surge protector through my toolbox with a knot on the inside holding it in place and electrical tape wound several times around it on the outside holding it in place into here and then from there I go to an on-off switch like you'd have on a light. And what that on-off switch in this case does is controls power to all of this. I have two things for light bulbs that you can put in or out that I'm holding in place with electrical tape. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> so eleven times two, twenty-two different outlets on this. So really, the limiting factor isn't whether um, I have enough outlets now; it's just whether I'm totally overloading this. Ways I might expand this in the future: one, I want to see what happens if I just plug in instead of going like just one ingoing power source like splice several lines from several different places together into this and see if I can use multiple outlets or multiple circuits or multiple locations if you're charging like a bunch of high drop stuff from this as inputs to it and basically our limiting factor should be one what the switches inside what the switch and the outlets themselves can handle and two what this wire is actually rated for so the goal is basically to push this enough that we see what melts at some point. And until then, to have a bunch of outlets to plug things into. And actually, the inside is kind of usable. I won't put anything that you don't mind getting electrocuted in here. But we have two little groovy compartments on the top. I was going to put other outlets in here, but figured, like, if it gets wet, it'll just be sitting in a puddle of shock. So, I'll plug it in and show you the craziness of... The light bulb's going on. <laughs> so our on-off switch, how I wired this, the, the thing to remember to wire the polarity of a socket, of a plug correctly, is brass is black and silver is white. The screws on the side are actually silver for the side that you're supposed to connect to the white wires, and they're brass like a brownish color for the ones you connect to the black. So we've got it wired up with the correct polarity. Our light bulbs even work. I'm going to switch these to CFLs to be a little more energy efficient. Um, downside being that when you break them they leak a little nice mercury for you to deal with. But here's our groovy light and outlet box thing, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, maybe not the most useful invention, but by far the nicest finish out of any of my projects that I've done so far. Right, Amanda? Absolutely. So, thanks for watching a really brief, really simplistic project of making things, and we'll be back later with more projects.